finally we're getting somewhere. We're in basic training and we're in module 210, opening a class and we're going to introduce the features of the virtual classroom or VC. Okay, so here we see we're, we're at my stuff, my classes opens this page and we see we have some live and upcoming classes and oh look the class has already begun if we clicked here it would take us to our class description page but we want to go over here to launch class sometimes this takes a while <laughs> sometimes it hangs up and you have to restart it remember too that you have different browsers and different browsers behave differently first thing that comes up in the screen is some notifications about your settings and your audio visual but we don't care about that yet we simply want to look at the big picture now one of the workarounds one of the problems you'll have periodically is things don't work correctly things do not behave well remember that you can use the F1 or F5 key which is um, relaunch your browser or you can go up here and simply close and reopen the class. The other way is easier if you use your F5 key. I have to hold down that blue function key and the F5 key, but that does the same thing. That relaunches the class and resets some things. Okay, and as I said too, there are differences from browser to browser. I keep uh, Internet Explorer as my prime um, browser for using WizIQ it is the most standardized of the browsers I also use Google Chrome sometimes that gets me in sometimes when there's problems and Firefox but there are small differences I don't know what they all are but um, there will be small differences in how it behaves first thing we're going to look at is that we have some functionality with the virtual classroom we can make more space both as a student and as a teacher by removing some things we can pop this out and then we can minimize it. We can pop this out and we can minimize it. Then we simply have to find them and oh look they're clear down here at the bottom. We can just click on them to open them back up. We can pop them back into where they were. Let's click on oh, my <laughs> my browser is kinda hard to move around in. Okay. Um, so on the right, these are the interface of who's in the classroom and they're chatting or not. In the very upper right hand corner, we just clicked on this to close our browser. Be very careful. I've asked WizIQ a hundred times to get rid of this. This actually stops the class. It will end it. Everything's over. You cannot reopen it. This is a dangerous button to use to refresh your browser because it'll shut everything down. Uh, this is information about you and your um, functions that you have available both as a um, you as the presenter and the individual attendees have the same kind of functionality. This link up here is a dangerous link but it's a good link. If you need someone else to go into your classroom that link is effectively the back door. That will let anyone come in as a teacher and conduct the class so if you're ever afraid that you have problems and you want someone else to be able to cover for you you can always open up the class early grab that uh, link and that will actually launch this virtual classroom as the owner of the classroom they can do anything I even think that they would it would actually kick you out of the room this is the main area we work in and these are our normal whiteboard tools And so that's going to be it for today um, We'll go right back in at about this point and start in with the um, individual features for the next module. Bye-bye.